actually started recording. I gotcha. <laughs> yes. Damn it. So that's fun. Whoops. Will you edit that out or are you leave it in? The world may never know. <laughs> well, there's no context, so I think I could leave it in. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to the Carry On Podcast. Here's your hosts, Bryce and Kevin. Welcome back to the Carry Handle Podcast. My name is Bryce, and with me, as always, is Kevin. How are you, Kevin? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me on today. Again. Well, I, I, at this point, it's just I might as well. Do you want I'm to almost like a figment of your imagination. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know what's coming. What are we talking about? We're talking about what we carry for our everyday conceal and carry. Why did we choose to carry it? And other things. Other things? What other things? Oh, God. I I have to read. Hold on. <laughs> you have to put effort towards this thing that this. we do on I wrote Sundays. This. I, didn't, I didn't read it. I just wrote it. I can't read. I can't write and read. <laughs> yeah. That's totally simultaneously. Impossible. Uh, oh, you are talking about different EDCs out there, kind of the affordable types of carry guns and the more pricey types of carry guns and the pros and cons of each of those little areas of gun, if you will. Areas of gun. Uh, okay. I, I liked the, the multiple takes you did there. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, have, you'll have a lot of fun in the edit room. It's fine. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that. All right, so the first one is, what do we carry, EDC, and why do we choose to, to, to carry it? Yes, It can perfect. be limited to firearm or include all Are pocket you litter. Oh, my God. I.E. knives, wallets. No. <laughs> no, I'll close you out of here. I will close it. Okay, so I want to hear you say some words before I say some words. I used to carry a Glock 19 because it's, it bit my hand. It was great. Oh, one of God, my good buddies bought me that. fuck you. One of my good buddies bought me a it holster. My hand. Fuck Ugh. you. Again, one of my buddies bought me a good holster that I used to filster a skeleton holster because he took pity on me one day because I forget what I was using. Oh. I was using oh, like an using? Outside, outside the waistband the retain um two level, second level retention, like push was button. It? Yeah, I, I was for a big coat over it. <laughs> oh my god, that was so long. That was like seven years ago. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you have come such a long way. Anyway, so Glock 19 fit you my hand You were afraid great. of appendix carry, that's right. I was. I remember I was. that. Jesus. You really had to talk me into it. Oh man. Oh my god, you're not kidding. That's, that, that is just the, the, I, I don't know, the theme of our relationship, especially yeah, with it, guns. I just bother you until you're willing to try something new. You're like, no, I don't want to do it. And I'm like, you should. You're well, like, I no. Find, and then I you find finally crazy go, good, yes. I All find right. crazy good gun deals. All right, we're getting off track. All right, so. <laughs> okay, <anyway. laughs> Today, present time, I carry a P365 at so I like it. It works for me. The, conceal, the concealability of it is perfect. I have a DCC clip on a skeleton holster. Filster, I have a red dot not be that someone talked me into, which I do like. <laughs> it's, and it's I, I think I have spear gold on ammo in there that I found at the local hardware store on a whim. So, so really quickly on ammo, people get really bent around the axle on what ammo you should carry because the FBI does this or their local police Jack department and does that. Points. Yeah, but realistically, it should be ammo that you're willing to practice and shoot with. Not all the time. It should be readily available. You should be able to find it consistently. Mm. And if it runs out, you should be able to find a reasonably similar ammo or something that does something similar. Don't get too worried about it. As long uh, as it's decent uh, ammo and not something... So how about we go by you? Jack and hollow points. Yeah, jack and hollow points. And test the ammo. Figure out if your gun likes it or if it doesn't like it, especially if you have a red dot and it's a little easier okay, to zero and... I'm gonna probably cut that out. That sounded stupid. But either way, don't get too bent. To, don't too no, not whoa, ball ammo. Do not carry. Ball yeah, no ammo. ball ammo. Please don't do that. Jack in and hollow points, and just figure the one that you want. 
Yeah, just do your research. It's not hard. I I have a few that I select from in terms of like Federal HST and Spear Gold Dot G two stuff like that. Don't and what, don't worry and about what, it. Um, what firearm do you use, Susan, Mister uh, Bryce? Well, you're not done yet because you're you're still talking about what you have. No, right? I talked about what I have. Was that it? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's all I have. I don't carry multiple <laughs> guns on me a day. All right. Well, if we're talking about what I used to carry, it's a longer list than Kevin's. Okay, so you want uh, uh, keep it the two. Keep it to two. I've carried like a lot of guns. I can't. Okay, so my first ever carry gun was an FNS nine long slide, huh. and then I carried that with a J frame in can, together with a reload. I was I was a little extra for a while. That was a lot to carry, and then for a while I carried that with an X three hundred, which I don't know. Some people may not know this, but that's a big light <laughs> in a big gun. And then after that, I carried a Glock 34 <laughs> with a light and a J-frame still. And then the J-frame died. And then I think it was a P30 and then a Beretta and then back to the Glock and then back to the P30 and then a 1911 and 45 <laughs> and then a 9mm 1911. <laughs> God damn it. And then... Fuck. Uh, and then a Beretta. A couple Berettas, actually. Uh, the 92D. Yeah, the double action only, and then a 92 Elite. Fuck. I'm missing. I'm, I'm forgetting. Oh, and then I carried a Walther PPS. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, what else? <laughs> I'm probably forgetting one in here somewhere. I know I flip-flopped around. What? I, I carried the P30 on and off. What do you carry today? Well... Recently, I was carrying a Glock 17 <laughs> with a red <laughs> dot. Yeah. And then I was like, hey, I'm wearing slacks and a polo tucked in, and it's kind of hard to conceal a larger gun like that, especially with a traditional inside-the-waistband appendix holster, which Ooh. you can do. It's harder. Right, so you happy to see me? No. <laughs> right. So, you and can't then say I, otherwise. I carried, I carried that gun... I carried that gun in a V development group serif holster for a while. And the thing's kind of big, so it didn't have a weapon light. It had a hollow sun enclosed red dot, a 509, and nice. a magwell. But that's kind of big. <laughs> it's kind of big. And so I, I, I was getting away with it, but I kind of had to... I knew I had a gun on, and it was kind of harder to... Thick. I don't know. Especially with... Maybe not a tucked-in shirt, because it's easy to carry a gun like that with just kind of relaxed or kind of casual clothes. Oh no, I'm not over my pens. Bryce, can you pick those up for me? Yeah, right. Uh, I don't really uh, want to. Why are you doing that awkward but, squat when that leg out to the side? Well, so uh, no with the traditional holster, that's kind of what it was. But then I ended up switching to the Filster Enigma with the Glock 17 and it made it a lot more usable. Oh yeah. But then I realized I could not do that. And just carry a Glock 48. So now I carry a Glock 48 with a 507T or something. Nice. In the Filster Enigma. And it makes it a lot easier to conceal a gun with tucked in shirt and nicer clothes. So, and, and it is by far the best concealing concealment solution because it's not a holster. The, the actual holster bolted to the Enigma is. A filster. I don't yeah. know what holster it is, but it's a filster holster on the like filster a, enigma. Like and if you skeleton. don't know what the enigma is, Google it. It's very cool. They have a very good support group on Facebook. They're amazing. I'm trying to talk my co host into getting one because they're amazing and I like them. I'm working on it. It okay. takes a little bit of setup, but the, the payoff is well worth it, especially if you work in a non -perm permissive environment or you leave the house wearing gym shorts and you want to go for a run with a gun on yeah, it's because beforehand you kind of had to have oh beforehand you kind of had to have a lighter gun like a really light gun yeah and if you wanted to carry something like that and now you can have a full-size gun and go for a run or go exercise and it makes it a lot easier cool. but i i haven't upgraded to the shield 15 round magazines yet I've heard a lot of hit and miss stories with them, with them, 
So I think I'm going to keep the 10 round mags, which I know isn't sexy, but Glock 48 red dot. And it's stock. I mean, with the exception of the LTT gadget or the LTT striker control device, it has stock sights on it, but that's like the plastic sights, but I don't use them. So they're just kind of dovetail, I don't know, covers (laughs) until I decide I actually want to put something else on it. But I just use the red dot. It's it's whatever. (laughs) So... Saying all that, what what are some affordable carry options, pistol wise? Well, I mean, it depends on it depends on what you want out of your carry gun. What you plan on doing, where you plan Um, on going, how you plan on concealing. uh, uh, Say everyday use inside the waistband, typical person. Nothing, nothing extreme. It's not a one size fits all. I mean, male, female. Big hands, small hands, different body types. Male, 5'4", 170 pounds, small hands. Probably a 365. Oh, you count count on that. That, That's good. (laughs) Micro single stacks or subcompacts have come a long way in terms of their capacity at the very least. But at the end of the day, they're still harder to shoot than larger guns. If you can get away with a Glock 19 or a mid-size gun, I, I don't. They're not compact. It's a mid-size gun. You should. They're easier to shoot. And people say, "Oh, well, 365. You can get 15 or however many rounds in them. 10, 12, 15. If you go the macro. Uh, yeah, but they're still snappier and harder <laughs> to shoot than a comparable. Like a Glock 19 and a Glock 48 are about the same size. Glock 19s are still about. 10 times easier to shoot. So. I, yes. Yeah. I, I, I will say, yeah, you're right. I mean, the, the through, it, it's a trade off because it is more snappy. There's less to hold on to. There's less. People to are hold like, on. Oh, it's the, it's the same size. And I'm like, yeah, but they're like, it snaps half the width. <laughs> it's like a court. It's like half the weight, half the width. But the, I mean, for me personally, the, it just disappears. I turn it on and it's disappeared. And I'm like, cool. Yeah. That's important to me. So I, I think it's what you're saying is whatever is important to you, kind of gear yourself towards that. And guns are kind of like holsters. You're probably going to end up with more than one because you're going to think one works for you and it probably doesn't the way you think it's going to. Right. Which is why my list of carry guns is very long. I I didn't even count that many, but. I mean, I have a lot of handguns, but that's mostly because I was like, well, I'm going to try this thing out. Oh, I didn't like that as much, so let me right. try this thing out. And it's not that I can't shoot them or I am I can't be proficient with them. It's I can, but I'm able to shoot something else a little bit better. Like the P30. That is one of my favorite guns of all time. But <laughs> I I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm going to switch to my P30. Oh, God, we... You've heard it here for here for you've heard it here first, folks. Well, LTT Langdon Tactical Solutions, they mill them for red dots now. So, ha ha ha. Yeah, so guns are very personal, much like pistols or pistols, much like holsters. Find one you like, find some friends, go rent guns. Definitely go rent guns. What Definitely brands, go to a range and rent. What brands would you point people towards? Okay, so listen, every gun manufacturer is going to have a lemon. So don't get too wrapped up about it. It's not that big a deal. Everyone's going to have a lemon. But by and large, because people say, oh, well, I only buy the X brand because they've never had a bad one. That is not true. They have all had crap. (laughs) Every single one of them. But with that being said, some brands have far less crap put out than other brands. Mm Mm-hmm. So I would say if you can afford it and to save your pennies just a little bit longer, I would say try to aim for Glock or SIG. You know, SIG's had some interesting QC issues lately, but they seem to roll out changes Let's not talk pretty about consistently. The... Well, I'm talking about lemons. It's directly related. SIG, yeah. from what I have seen, especially the 365s, have been improving, and I think they're decent guns. I don't have any. Kevin does. I don't. My wife seems to like it. Yay. So 365s are cool. Glock 48s are cool. 
19s are cool. If you can get away with it, 17s are basically my, I don't know, baseline for a decent gun. Yeah. If you absolutely can't afford a new gun, try to find police trading guns. They're usually Glocks. They're usually... Pawn shops. Uh, pawn shops are a great place to... If you if, if you know what you're looking for, nine times out of ten, the pawn shop people don't know what they're looking at, and they'll just sell it to you. Yeah. So if you, if you go, and like, my Glock 19 was an old Leo gun. So the one thing... Yeah, you have a blue label. Yes, I do. Right? <laughs> D- DHS, last time I looked at it. That's right, yeah. We, we did a serial range lookup. <laughs> so a lot of people when they're first getting into guns, see a gun and they go, this is chambered in the same thing that this Glock 19 is. So it should be just as good. Just as good. That is not how things work. Nine millimeter is the best millimeter to have. Right. If you know what a, if you know what, like an old, oh, what the hell kind of car am I thinking of? What's, what's that old Russian? Lada. Lada, there we go, Lada. thank you. So a Lada and a Camry are both cars. They both have throttles, they both okay. have four wheels. Yep. And they both take gas. One Supp- car is supposedly. really good. Supposedly <laughs> what? take yeah, gas. Right? <laughs> well, the other one is, is capitalist tears, and the other one is actual oh. gas. But <laughs> So, I've lost my train of thought. One, both of them are cars. One's a good car. One's a shit car. I'd rather have the Camry than the Lada. So, right. there are guns that are Ladas, and there are guns that are Camrys. And you pay a little bit more for the Camry, but the Camry will get you further. You can buy a High Point, and and don't don't get me wrong. I think High Points are pretty cool, but in terms of personal defense, I don't know that that's a great idea. I think they're, in terms of baseline guns, I think they're. You're probably better off with a high point than like a Jimenez or any of the Saturday night special guns. Right. So do your research and I mean, try to stick to the brands that are typically more reliable. Beretta has some pretty good offerings in the budget friendly era, uh, which is like sub 400, $300. You can get a decent gun, but in there you can get a decent trade in Glock for that. Now, with that being said, most of those trade-in guns are not as concealable as a Glock 48 or a Glock 43 or a P365. So, yeah, I, I, yeah, I feel like the trade-off is if, if you spend a little bit more money from the get-go, you save yourself a lot of headache in the long, in the long run. Yeah. If you save yourself money from the get-go, later on down the road at some point, you're not going to like it. You're like, damn, I don't like this. And then you're going to want to buy something else. Thus... Spending twice as much that you would have spent if you just did a little research. You just bite the bullet and get it over with. Bite the bullet, get it over with. Walk around, go go to gun stores, touch guns. They love nothing more than to let you touch their guns and flag you. Well, yeah, def- definitely flag you. Oh, yeah, and the guy flagged me at the gun store. I was like, uh, uh, don't flag me, sir. What's the next thing you... Ooh, total talk time, 15 to 20 minutes. Ooh, that was pretty close. We got there, you know. I love, I love that you're reading. <laughs> EDC or SHTF rifle setup. The script that rifle. we're not supposed to be reading. What, what we have, why we choose that. No talk about Mark 12 wanting. Hey, 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 I told you not to talk. No, that's highlighted. That's highlighted for a reason. He highlighted it. Or rambling about AK-100 series or I any Eugene's... Dis- I capitalized <laughs> Mark 12, you jackass. I capitalized it for a reason. He, Kevin included 762 by 51 or 308 Winchester guns. I'm not allowed to talk about any of those guns. That's upsetting. He he has, he has found my Achilles. Now, what he if... sliced it like a... What if I were to talk about the 222 chambered AR-15? Uh, Ooh! Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> is that Eugene Stoner designed rifle? Shut up. <laughs> is that you? Eugene- oh, it is. What do you know? I could talk about the FAL that was chambered in the like the intermediate 283 or whatever cartridge. So fuck you. I found a loophole, bitch. <laughs> anyway, to get back on track, what are our EDC rifles or SHTF shit hit the fan? Oh, God, I hate acronyms. 
I know, but <laughs> so if you stupid. don't say the acronym and you just say it, people aren't going to put the acronym together. Yeah, that's they, true. They might put uh, H H S T F or some weird for traveling. I mean, this is pretty easy. For at my house, there's a rifle with an EOTech and it's a mid length gas system, Franken build with a Magpul lower, which is kind of cool. What's and the, what's the twist on the barrel? Uh, one in seven. Which realistically, if I were to read, if I were to do it over again, I would do like a one in eight. Because it stabilizes, it stabilizes fifty-five yes. grain a little bit better. One in eight. One in one in seven is typically better for like heavier ammo. Se- Seventy-seven grain OTM Mark two six two mod zero. Yeah, so heavier like sixty-nine grain, sixty or yeah, sixty-two grain. You know, it's a little better heavier ammo as opposed to fifty-five oh. grain. Which right. I mean, yeah. yeah. And then if I'm going on a road trip, I have. An AK that's a foldy boy that goes next to me. So, Love it. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty simple. There's nothing really you know, crazy. I, it's got I, a weapon light and a red dot. Woo! I need a travel gun, but I need to get a truck first. So, because <laughs> traveling in the tiny Honda with a rifle in my passenger seat. <laughs> that's why I like AKs, man. You could just fold them in half. <laughs> oh yeah, let me drive around with my. Riley defense folded in my seat. Like it's yeah, totally fine. That's what I do. Anyway, I have what do I have? What do you have? I know what you have. I have, you a, have a Midwest imp- Industries upper mid length yep. one and eight twist on one a Bushmaster yep. commercial lower. Yes, I do. With a hollow sun yep. up top and a surefire. Your yep. your part selection is fucking wild. And it's like poverty tier mixed with a surefire. <laughs> like, and what? And the angle and foregrip, which you hate that you like. I, I hate I hate that I love it. So I originally how I, I put it. <laughs> I originally hated AFGs when they were 1913 and they were fucking massive and you couldn't get your hand around it unless you were Andre yeah. the Giant. But now right. they're really slimline and the rails yep. are smaller and they're super comfy. He really likes the one I have. I do. I hate that I like it because it's ugly as shit, but I re- it's super comfy. Well, that's I, I don't care if it's ugly. The one no, eight, it, so it doesn't matter. The, the upper appearance. The upper and one eight the one eight twist two two three wild, which is just a fancy way of saying I can run both two two three yeah, and five five just, six. It doesn't matter. Without thinking about it. I don't have to be like, oh my god, my gun's gonna explode. No. No. It won't. But yeah, I mean rifles. We had a whole thing about what you should have on a rifle, oh, and wait, we're we're following that. Wait, we have red wait, dots. Like you forgot, you know. I used to have the patrol rifle. Remember, remember we're that? Not, we're, no, we're not. Sure. Oh come we're on, not we're come not on. doing this. Come no. on, I still have the upper. I'm, I'm, I'm holding the upper with that shit fucking <laughs> prism optic you had on it. Oh my the, god, the prism optic and the if you if you go to Reddit hand guards, <laughs> if you go to Reddit like r slash guns and you see all the fuds posting their tech guns that was kevin when he first started that was kevin uh, at least they started somewhere <laughs> and i asked you quite i asked, for my defense i asked a lot of questions to you and i i took your feedback as best as i could at the time yeah i'll give you that that's fair i didn't buy a hollow of sun eventually and i bought that upper eventually when you pointed it out to me but I will say, when he got that prism, that fucking Amazon special, he was like, I bought an EOTech. And I was like, no shit. No, you did not. <laughs> no, he's like, no, 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 no shit, I said bro. ACOG. Or I said ACOG. ACOG. That's right. Yeah, you were like, I got, a, I got For an, 40 e- bucks. an ACOG. And I was like, there's For 40 no bucks way. At the pawn there's shop. no way you got a fucking <laughs> ACOG. And he sends me a picture of it, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's not an ACOG. I'm like, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh my I gotta, god. I gotta unbury that thing, so when you come up... No. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we can do a little video of you. <laughs> just, just so upset about it. Me, All right, me. and then and then I have a heat thing here. It says end with a brief snippet of what's to come. Discuss yes. before start recording. Did we do that? Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. That's right. All right, cool. So here's a brief snippet of what's to come. We're gonna have a video talk about your penis. What? Enemy <laughs> car and unknown position. <laughs> Oh my god, this reminds me of Anchorman. Whatever you type on the teleprompter, Ron reads. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have an episode 
where Kevin and I are in the same house, which is fun. And we're we're gonna talk about each other's AKs because his is very traditional and mine is not. Mine's and... practical. His is bougie. <laughs> pretty much bougie. What, what place Yours is bougie at all. Yeah. You no. have you, you have, have a, a sling, system. a light, and a red dot. What do you, you have mean? a sighting system, sir? That is bougie for an AK. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll, we'll you yeah we'll have more of this. Uh, don't forget we, to like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. We make gameplay videos, uh, which you should know because you're watching on YouTube. And if you're listening on Spotify, watch on YouTube because there's gameplay videos. Yeah, there is. And, and what play, games do we play? We play games like SCP, uh, which is a really cool zombie game that I very much like. And a game called Ground Branch that I have an unhealthy obsession with. It's very unhealthy. So, yes. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. It's the Carry Handle Podcast and then the Carry Handle Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, you Spotify, all the places. And we have an email the Carry Handle Podcast at gmail.com. I, I recently figured out that we had an email. Yes, we I, do have an email I forgot about. So, yeah, I almost emailed it. <laughs> I almost emailed it for, for giggles. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. This has been a Carry Handle podcast episode where we say some words about some things. Do, 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 do. Adios. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>